solution architect or devops which one is the best and what should i study or make my career this was one of the question being asked by abhi and i can see number of guys asking the similar sort of question or in fact i had the same question um when i was starting my or in, in my mid career and this question being asked repetitively in one of my free classes so i thought i'll probably record so it can be helpful not just for abhi for others as well and if you stay till end i'll be also invite or telling you how you can learn more or go deeper and inviting you for the free class based on your background and your choice so the, coming back to the question solution architect or devops now in order for if you have this dilemma better would be like it's always good to have some set of questions that will help you in identifying which role is better su suited to you based on the skills interest and career goals so before you are in order for you to choose between a cloud solution architect or as an architect or an enterprise architect or a solution architect or an infrastructure architect and devops there's some uh, general questions you should always ask so first question is what are your career goals and which roles align with you so when i was starting at the mid level of my career i was when the devops was just picking up at the time i was working on as, as an architect by by the time as a, as in security architect um on the time and as an oracle erp um infrastructure architect but then uh, because devops was just picking up back in 12 13 so i picked up the devops um at that time because i thought probably let me understand that skill as well that will help in facilitating so the first important and, and these goals might change as well but important thing at the stage what is your career goals do you want to do you fancy more on a uh, uh, like uh, architect line or a devops line and i'll explain you both the differences as well if you're new or or fairly new on these points also uh, the other question might help you in understanding is do you have a previous experience in a development or infrastructure management, or you are more inclined towards designing solution or implementing and managing the solution. So if you're more in designing solutions, they might, architect might be more. If you're more on a implementation and management, you might be more on a DevOps side as well. Now, other thing is how well do you handle constant and ra rapid change and iteration? If you're, if you're pretty much fine with rapid changes, learning new things, doing more and more uh, constant changes, iterations multiple times, then DevOps might be good for you. But if you're more towards uh, giving solutions on, then architect might be better line for you. Now, before you also have some more questions specific to, let's suppose you're more inclined towards uh, architect line or a solution architect. And when I say architect, I'm focusing towards cloud architect, but it's applicable for an enterprise architect, solution architect, and so on as well. So if you're more inclined towards designing and pl planning cloud solutions uh, for businesses, then maybe you're more inclined towards architecture line. Or how strong are your skills understanding business requirement and trust and translating those business requirement into the technical solution. So business has given you some requirement and say, we want to do this, this, this. Can you provide some solutions based on that, both technical infrastructure and architecture level as well. Also, do you have an interest as well as experience on cloud services like multiple cloud services like AWS, Azure, Google, Oracle, and other cloud as well. And as well as on-premise infrastructure side as well. Also, are you comfortable communicating both technical uh, or more uh, how's your communication skills in terms of can you take a complex technical uh, solution or information to a non-technical stakeholders or business uh, owners as well so that's another good point for a design point of view also are you interested more in a security compliance governance everything around entire software stack then might be a cloud architect good for you again a cloud architect typically someone who already have some experience other option might be you might move into a cloud engineer or an engineer role or an infrastructure administrator role which we'll talk about which eventually these days are becoming part of devops as well now more specific questions for devops are you interested on automation CI/CD pipelines? Again, as I said at the start and the end, I'm going to give you some classes to go more about whether it's DevOps or or a architect line, both of them. So if you're more interested on automation, CI/CD, infrastructure management, administration, operations, then DevOps might be better for you. Or do you prefer operational administration, automation, development, or any one of these things? Then probably might be uh, better for DevOps line to begin with. Also, do you have any experience as well as interest in tools like containers and Kubernetes, which is hot in the market right now, or in CI/CD tools like Jenkins, um, CI/CD pipeline like Azure CI/CD or AWS CI/CD, TeamCity, um, GitLab, or so GitOps, etc. As well. 
also do you have an interest in monitoring logging alerting cloud environment and if you see now some of these things might be overlapping with an architect as a, with devops as well but i hope you're understanding now uh, the directions toward these two also are you more focused on operational excellence rapid deployment improving constant uh, feedback as a team working closely with the devop developer or operations management tools as well now in terms of responsibilities uh, to understand the cloud architect primary focus is designing planning um, both uh, on premise as well as cloud infrastructure based cloud based as well as on premise data center based um, based on the business need the main focus is more about architecting security scalability and reliability whereas the devops is more towards development deployment operational uh, day to day operations as well and their main focus is about automating and streamlining the process and accelerate that helps in both development and deployment of that code that your team or the business needs as well now be uh, like what good you should be having it is if you're more experienced in it uh, the architect needs to be a little bit more experience in it and cloud services uh, because cloud is hot in the or cloud, uh, things are moving towards cloud whether it's a uh, public cloud or on-premise cloud or clouded customer side we call it as a private cloud as well also you should be very strong from an architecture point to be very strong on cloud concepts and services as well as skills in designing the technical solutions as well on also you should have a good communication skills interacting with clients and teams so if you are more inclined towards that maybe definitely cloud architect other question is devops uh, from a devops point of view as i said earlier it, they should if you have a background in development system administration um, operations of managing deploying infrastructure or applications then devops might be good also you should have strong depth for DevOps, you should have a strong operational deployment administration or a coding or a script, scripting skills. And now, based on some of these things might be sounding repeat, but that will give a good idea about uh, as well. Also, you have adaptability to change tools and uh, responsibilities as well. So I think uh, in order for you to decide, my view is that if you are a little bit senior and you have an inclination, you have a slight uh, incline, inclination towards a designing architect, that, that sounds, so maybe, design architecture implement then you probably go for solution architect or a cloud architect or an enterprise architect or different names or infrastructure architect and so on if you are more interested in implementing automating or optimizing then devops might be right for you skill set point of view are you more skilled towards design plan things than architecture might be better or if you're more inclined towards administration or automation then you might be on a development side then my devops might be better for you uh, now so based on you also look at what is a career growth at what level you are uh, maybe if you already have done eight to ten years or 20 or 10 plus years maybe look at the design or architects architect side as well or a little bit senior as well this doesn't mean that someone is who's senior can't do devops i think that fits well i personally um based on me i think i want to jump between a devops and architect both lines i was working as a contractor a freelancer i've done a lot of extensive work for last two decades on uh, on implementing right from a design to all the way to actual implementation i've been part of different teams as well i fancy i like to do both and i think you can do both as well a little bit of maybe a couple of months you play role of an architect then come to devops team maybe work for a year on a devops and then move architect and you can switch on and off between these different teams as well that's a good way of implementing that as, that as well so that's what i prefer i try to do both of them but you decided you tell me um in the put in the comment section do you fancy more on a devops do you fancy more on a architect line and if you're still confused give me a little bit more about your background on what you do and uh, based on uh, where you want to go then based on that we can say hey is it better for you for devops right now or architect right now and remember you can always change these lines because you know um you don't have to stick to uh, a particular skill as um, you can always go to architect and come back to devops or vice versa or maybe altogether different line as well so i hope that makes sense let me know um if you have any further question on this or also as i said that start Tell me a little bit more about you so I can invite you or give you my team will give you a free class. We I run these free classes on different domains like as an architect, as an uh, DevOps or how to get a high paying job in cloud. Um, um, even if you're a beginner or no coding experience, whether you're just starting out or have already have some experience and you're working. But tell me which 
what exactly you want to learn so I can give you appropriately whether it's AWS cloud, Azure cloud, DevOps, Docker and Kubernetes or data or whatever your background is. With that, this is Atul. If you have any questions like that, please feel free to leave a comment and I look forward to see you in another uh, session like this or another video like this. Thank you and bye for